steak and frites, classic yes. French dish. Um, now, when I was growing up, you know, steak was a little bit of a rarity Absolutely. in the household, you know, because it's, 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 it's renowned as being an expensive ingredient. But if you look around for good deals, good bargains, mm -hmm. and actually look around at some of the different cuts of steak that you can get in your supermarkets these days, actually it, it can become a little bit more affordable. Now, I think one of the best things that you need to do is, is not look at having a gigantic steak each person, you know. Sometimes one decent steak can feed a couple of people. Right. Um, but look for some of these different cuts. So here we've got some rump steak. From Tesco's, mm -hmm. 244 grams. It comes in just under three pounds. Right, OK. And I, I truly believe, you know, a steak that size is going to feed two people. If you sure. cook it, slice it nice and thin, put it on mm. your plate. You know, you won't miss okay. that gigantic okay. steak on there. Lots of chips then. Lots of up. chips. Some salad as well, you know. It's all oh, about a nice oh, bit of balance on the plate. Rump steak is absolutely perfect. So this one from Asda, 244 grams. Again, just coming under three pounds. Right. Um, rump steak's got a fantastic flavour. Okay. OK. Not loads and loads of fat within it. But good flavour, mm -hmm. and it's renowned as one of the cheaper cuts. Sirloin, this one from Aldi, 227 grams, and this one is about three pounds. Um, sirloin, again, is renowned as being one of the slightly more expensive yeah. cuts. Yeah. But again, that's going to feed two people. Okay. Okay. This is one of my favourite cuts. Now, this one's from Morrison's, and this is the flat iron steak. Actually, comes from the shoulder of the cow, and this has got amazing flavour. Right. Now, if you like your steak medium rare. This is perfect for okay. you, okay? So you can either have it medium rare or well done. Anything in between, it goes a little bit chewy. Okay. But that is a great cut steak. And if you are looking at slightly different cuts, it's going to be a little bit cheaper as well. Okay, sandwich steak, minute steak, which are what I'm cooking with today. Right. Really, really sliced thin. Okay, a little goes a long way. This one's from Sainsbury's, 368 grams, about four pounds. So about mm. one pound of steak, yeah, this, which is yeah, perfect. This bad. And then these here from Lidl's, 400 grams. 485, but that is easily going to feed a family of four. Right. Okay. So my steak here, I've kind of taken me eye off the ball a little bit while I've been waffling <laughs> on the ring. Minute steak. Okay. These have gone to a nice hot griddle. Yeah. And that is the secret of this. Okay. Really, really nice hot griddle. Really, really nice hot pan. Mm -hmm. Get it on there. A little bit of oil, salt, pepper. You get it on there. You leave it to do its thing. You get the caramelization. Right. Okay. I've cooked this around three quarters of the way through. I've just turned it, just to seal the other side. Okay. Really important, that comes off the griddle now. I'm going to let that rest. Right, see, okay. that's what I don't do. Always really, do really make sure you let it rest. Right. If you can give it five minutes, that's perfect. Okay. If you can give it ten, rest it under a piece of wood. Is it not cold? No, it won't go cold. Okay. It will hold the temperature. Okay. For as long as it takes that heat to get into the centre of the steak, it's going to take just as long for it to oh, okay. come out. Okay, so really important to rest right. it. Now, I'm going to jazz this up with some really nice flavoured butters. OK, I've got three different flavours for you here. All the recipes are on the website. Your classic garlic butter. So we've got garlic, we've got a little bit of lemon juice, lemon zest, parsley, and of course our butter. Okay. Beat that together. Absolutely delicious. You can use that on your garlic bread, on your steaks. Okay. Amazing. But I've got a few different flavours for you here. Right. OK, so... I always use unsalted butter, mm -hmm. okay, because that way you can season it up to exactly how you want it. But going in here, I've got some fresh coriander. I've got some chilli. I know you like a bit of chilli, Lorraine. Yes. We've also got some smoked paprika. It's going to add a lovely little kick. Mm. So that goes in there. And then what I'm going to do, just a little squeeze of lime juice. That looks like quite a lot. Can you make a load of that? And yeah, make it up. You know, it's going to keep... keep it? Exactly. It's right, going to keep okay. in the fridge for around three or four days. It'll keep in the freezer All right, okay. for a month or so. Right, so you okay. can just take it out, take a little slice That's off. Quite a good idea. It's yeah. absolutely perfect. So it's ready to go. Right. So what you need to do, room temperature butter, just give that a really, really nice stir. Mm -hmm. OK. That comes together really nice. It's got a great colour, great flavour. So that's that one. Right. This oh, next one. Easy. Right, Italian. Okay. I know we go in French, but this is one of my favourite butters. We've got a butter, sun-dried tomatoes. We've got some Parmesan. Mm -hmm. We've got a little bit of fresh basil, which goes in. Give that a chop, give it a mix. But this is the key. Right, so get yourself some cling film. Okay. Pop your butter on there. And then just roll it. Now, why there. are we doing that? Well, this is how you can keep it in the fridge. So you ah, roll it up. All right, OK, that's a good idea. You get yourself, just roll it towards you. You make yourself a nice make little a sausage. Sausage. <laughs> sausage. You're Why obsessed. did I do that to myself? I know, You're I know. Obsessed, obsessed. <laughs> of course, of course. Right, Lorraine. So let's get our steaks on there. What flavour of butter would you like? Do you know I don't I usually just put French mustard on my steak. But I'm yeah, very well, I've got French mustard this morning, Lorraine. I've but got some okay, lovely flavoured butters but for you. Put the butter on, put the butter on whatever, <laughs> right. whatever you like. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just it's take chilly, a nice little thing. slice of that. You obviously make sure you take 
the cling film of course, off that of there. Full power. That will melt down on the steak because okay. you've still got that warmth in there. Lovely. I'm going to serve Thank that, Lorraine. Oh, nearly knocked the wine over. I do that, I do that all do that. the time. I did that the other day. This looks okay. absolutely beautiful. Just on the frites as well. Just for a little twist, a little bit of Parmesan cheese oh, right, grating okay. over the top. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. That's lovely. It's a nice, that cheap cut really good. steak. Mm. Um, the butter works absolutely beautifully with it. Um, a nice, That's easy great, midweek is that? meal. It's really, really, really tasty. And somehow works at breakfast. Yeah, weirdly. and not a sausage in sight. Not a sausage in sight. <laughs> Thank you, my love. That's really good.